The Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. Allow me to translate. The Lamborghini Gallardo Superlight. This latest Gallardo is a result of my two favourite modifications. Less weight and more power. There are carbon fibre trinkets dotted around, from the wing mirrors to the diffusers. Even the door panels are carbon, with handles swapped for straps. The seats are each made from one piece of, you've guessed it, while the prettiest view in the world is now through plastic. Beneath it lies a 5-litre V10 producing 530 horsepower. Surely too much for a road car? Well, no, because it's not often you're going to use all of it in any case. And when you do, there's both four-wheel drive and ESP to stop you getting into trouble. You can have either a manual or an e-gear box that this one's got. And to be honest, when you're just cruising along, it's simpler just to leave it in auto and let the changes be done for you, which they do if you use just a call for a throttle at about 4,000 RPM when they change gear without you hardly noticing it. It's all very smooth and civilised. The trouble is when you're cruising along, your eyes tend to drop from the wonderful Alcantara and sporty carbon fibre down to discover the rather incongruous Audi centre console, which of course reminds you who owns Lamborghini nowadays, you suddenly realise that you're holding an RS4 steering wheel. It kind of spoils the feeling. So to get rid of the distractions, there's only one course, more revs, which had to be achieved with the press of the sport button, which now does sporty automatic changes. The only trouble is it changes gear when you don't expect it to, and sometimes it changes gear very violently. Not what you really want to hear when you're spending £151,000, which means this car costs 26 grand more than the standard Gallardo. And don't think there's a huge performance gain either. It's just 100 kilograms lighter and the power increase is only 10 horsepower. So top speed remains at 196 miles an hour and the 0 60 time improves by just two tenths to 3.8 seconds. So, unless you're buying a Superleggera for bragging rights down the pub, we perhaps need to find a, a different arena for this car to really show its improvements. When we put the standard Gallardo up against a Ducati 999, it was one of our most exciting challenges ever, with the bike just coming out on top. Now it's time for a rematch between the new improved Lambo and an all-new Ducati. The 1098 is the most powerful production V-twin on sale with 160 horsepower. It has a top speed of 180 miles an hour. It'll be ridden by Leon Haslam, currently battling for the British Superbike Championship. He has a reputation for being a bit of a daredevil on a bike and will need every ounce of skill to beat the car over three performance challenges. Now, Lynn, I thought we'd start with a nice little tight slalom test because, you see, I've got 530 horsepower. I can launch to 62 in just 3.8 seconds. I thought that would probably sort you out. Well, you're a lot wider than me, so, and I'm pretty confident you're a clipper count, so I think I'll get this one. Oh, yeah, thank you. He watched his launch, Leon. This is how it works. <laughs> Sport, ESP, gear, foot off brake, back to the flag, the drop, and launch! <laughs> oh, oh. Well, it took off all right. I'm going to say it's cold. They're all right. Five seconds, man. Oh. So, a blistering 14.01 seconds for me. Can the bike beat it? You just beat me, just beat me. Thank I can't you. believe it. By nearly three seconds. But, Come but on. I told you. How about stopping? Now you can't stop very well, only two wheels. Right, steady. 90 miles an hour, 95, 100 miles an hour, we come to the coast, and we hit the bridge, and we're stopping seven. <laughs> 
We made it. One, two, three, four, five, six yards or so. Leon, you've just gone into the back of the bus and I've stopped right the way right back there, look. Well, so you've got to win something today. That's one each. On then to the final test, a head-to-head -head race over two laps with a rolling start. Just a nice steady out lap, Leon. Nothing to worry about, it's the race starts when we come back to the start finish line. Or well, if you cheat a little bit, the race starts now. straight it was another story Got to hand it to Lay on there, pulling a wheelie in front of Tiff's nose, rubbing in the fact he was fastest. Yeah, he did look considerably quicker as well. Starting to think, yeah. Guiardo Superleggera, is it really worth it? Lots of money for not much more or less of a car. Yeah, but if you think about it, the Guiardo is what three or four years old now. Yeah. Do a new one next year, yeah. which means that there's a newer, faster special edition. You know, stop it, Lamborghini, stop <laughs> it. 